Say, Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Say, Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Say, Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Say it again. Say, Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Say, Lord. Say, Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Come on, say it with some attitude. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Say, Lord, you're mighty.
dance and shake before him. The demons run and flee at the mention of the name King of Majesty. There is no power in Father, we give you glory, praise, and honor, and you're such a wonderful, you're such a, you're such a good God, and Father, we thank you that you don't always set things up to be easy, because you're maturing us, you're growing us, you're, we thank you that our faith is being perfected, you're grooming us for the extraordinary. You're taking us out of a classroom setting and putting us on, uh, giving us real situations in life where we can find out how strong our faith really is. And so God, we just give you glory tonight. I thank you ahead of time for the word that you prepared for your people. And so, Father, I just give you glory and praise and honor. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
Well, praise God. You can be seated um, in the presence of the Lord. We do thank God tonight that the entire team from Ghana is back. Everybody is back. Everybody is healthy. Amen. God is good. God is good. So, back-to-back -back teams. Uh, LeMay ruled the team in Kenya. Then the medical mission in Mombasa, and simultaneously, we were doing some leadership training in Kasirian, Kenya, and then Ghana. And, and God brought, back, brought everybody back safe. Hey, everybody safe and sound. To God be the glory. I want you to go to, first, let's go to work. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, uh, the last team we got in this morning sometime. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, let's look at, uh, we're going to look at a scripture here um, because really your faith, um, you won't really know how strong you are until, you, you, you know, uh, Sister Pastor talked about being challenged and things that are contrary, uh, that's when um, things can take place and things can go forward. Um, and so, uh, in your development, you have to understand that God is doing some things uh, to prepare you for your next faith assignment. And uh, uh, in the classroom, you can take notes and you can, yeah, I heard the Lord. But at some point, you're going to have to use what you got. And, uh, and, 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 and we're going to look at some things uh, on tonight. But, but let me, okay, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, you in verse 58? Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. There, be, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. Always abounding. So I love this because it didn't, you know, give us, you know, I'm, I'm, let me try to be nice. It, it didn't really give us a license to be weak just because things are more challenging. Are you following what I'm saying? So when it says be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding. That means no matter what, man, I believe before the pandemic, I still believe. I still have the same kind of faith, so I can't, well, you know what this is going on, so now let me, I, I'm not going to let my faith take a back seat because we, we're, listen, we're in a wealth transfer here. They, they, when stuff gets shaken, they're like, oh, I don't want it. I'll take it. Are you following what I'm saying? So, so you, you, you have to be mindful of the times. Um, uh, so steadfast, unmovable, doing what? Al always, always. You got to be, oh yeah, okay, Lord. Consistent, consistent. When only people who have consistent faith will really be able to do some things I'm not being, you know, that your mama would have to, is that my child? What the world? What the, you know, because I'm going to tell you, there are certain things you embark to do, and they'll look at you and say, you can't do that. Can I, can, I, can I give you a little inside try? Some people be like, well, I'm praying, but I don't know. I, I, yeah, well, we're going to pray and believe God, but I don't know about this one. You know, like sending the missionaries, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Y'all follow what I'm saying? So, you know, there are some people that say, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray, but ah, I hope they got it right this time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you, so, um, it's, it's, when your faith refuses to back down, maybe that's when you really have faith. Uh huh. I'm gonna take my time. I'll take my time. Either you let life shape you or you shape life. In other words, either you let, if you, either, either you become a byproduct of 
what's going on out there or you decide the road you going on. Are, are you following? Because, like, see, um, your faith, the higher you go, the stronger your faith is going to have to be. Because now we're not talking about no little popcorn now. We're not talking about, oh, I got to believe God for a thousand dollars. Now, what, what, what about when a thousand go to six figures? Uh, somebody help me now because I've been going a little while. The camera project is all, is everything finished? I know, is everything finished? Com totally complete. And I know we don't pay for it. Mm -hmm. Now, we may hold it a few weeks, you know, make sure everything's working right, you know, depending on the contract, but that was six figures. We got cameras, my God, all, all over, every, every, you know, we just upgraded, just took care of everything. So now we're not believing God for $1,000. Is that six figures? Uh-huh. So now, um, with, um, the higher you go, uh, the, <clears throat> the more, <clears throat> uh, how do I say it, your, your, your faith has to be sure. You, you can't be guessing, man. You can't be hoping and a wishing. You got to know. No, look here. When I step on this plane and I'm on my way overseas, I can't be thinking about dying. The Lord told me. The Lord, the Lord spoke to me. The Lord told me to release the team. I checked with God more. I said, Lord, I'm just checking in again. I just want to make sure. And he said, did I, I told you. I, and the Lord told me, he said, I'm, I'm going to send them and bring them all back healthy. And that's exactly what the Lord did. Hallelujah. Now, um. Be, now, now, you know, talking about being stat fast, stat fast, stat fast. It seems like to me, it's kind of trying to prep you to be stubborn in your faith. It's, it's kind of trying to prep you like that Roman soldier or the whole armor of God was designed behind the Roman soldier. When, when, when they were, um, uh, they, they have their feet prepared with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And when they were stick their foot in the ground, that, I'm, not, I'm not backing up. I have no armor, I receive your seat. I have no armor behind me. I have nothing to protect me. Uh, uh, the, uh, all I know is I'm going forward. So, you know something, Bishop, you really out your mind. I thought before the pandemic, I know you said it, but during this pandemic, I have seen, you don't have to tell me no more. I, 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 uh, how, I get, how did I get like this? Oh, let, let's deal with it. You can't try to develop this kind of faith when the pandemic began. You have to have it ahead of time. So now, now you don't develop this kind of faith when everything easy. <laughs> uh, you, have to, you have to be in a few dog fights if you catch my vernacular. When all hell has tried to break loose against you. And even your proud partner ain't standing with you. That's why the Bible says that having done all, stand. So, you know, you know, so, so what God does, what God does, he gives your faith an opportunity to grow and to get stronger and to become more fervent and to, and to be strengthened. You, you follow what I'm saying? But you, you, don't, you don't get strong. You don't get strong. In, when, when everything going well. Mm -mm. Uh, so it says be, uh, be steadfast, unmovable. That sounds like to me somebody just damn right stubborn. You're not going to move me out this hole. You know in football, ladies, y'all ladies, just bear with me a little bit. You get a nose guard, get one of them big nose guard in the middle, they say you're not moving me out this hole. If y'all try to run up the middle, you try to run off guard, left or right, you, you ain't moving. You, you not moving me out this hole. I'm going to stand right here. I'm standing my ground. This is where I'm supposed, you're not going to move me out this hole. If y'all going to run, you better run somewhere else, but you ain't coming up in here. Oh, God. Anybody get that? 
You, you know, that's the way you have to be. No, 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 no. Just I'm standing. I'm steadfast. I'm moved. I'm always abounding. Now that's not a license. The Bible doesn't say, "Well, do this if everything's good." No, it's okay. Con be seated. It's consistency. Is your faith consistent? People talked a whole lot of stuff before the pandemic. God can do this, and I believe God. And I'm, where you at now? Where, where you at now? I want to know where you at now. You, you, you follow? You, uh, no, you got to, you got to be consistent. No, no matter what the trial, the test, the difficulty, no matter what's going on, you got to, you got to be, you, 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 you no, no, no. Um, I still believe. See, there are certain things, certain blessings on certain levels. Mm -hmm. The higher you go, the bigger the blessing. But your faith must, you must qualify in the arena of your faith to walk with giants. Oh Lord, what a statement, what a statement. What a statement. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. You know, a lot of people, they sitting back and, well, I want to be there. No, 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 no. No, how strong are you? You say you want to be where they are, but do you have the strength that they have? You say you want to walk with a giant, but come on, where, where you at, man? Where, 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 where is your faith? How strong, watch this, how strong are you when the winds are contrary? Are y'all following what I'm saying? You know, some people, they, man, I got this against me. If God be for me, who can be against me? You know, so, so the people, oh, my God, uh, man, I got this. Uh, uh, man, I, I was going good. Now, now, anytime you believe in God for something, you listen? You believe in God for something, you know, some stuff will come to try to challenge it. Uh, things will come to see if you... You said you believe God. Now things will come in the process to find out if you believe them. That is not the time to shrink back. That is not the time to draw back. That is not the time to be like, oh, no, get nervous. No, uh-uh. Oh, now you done made me mad. I'm, I'm, I'm just sharing my life with you. You done made me mad now. No, 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 no. See, I was going fine, but now you, you, trying, to, you trying to steal my blessing with your lie. You done made me mad now. Now, I was believing God, but now if I'm going to have to fight for this, you know, whatever I got to do, you are not going to talk me out of what the Lord already told me. In other words, a promise is a promise. The Lord didn't say, I'll do this if everything's well, if you don't get challenged, if, if, if difficulty don't come your way. No, if the Lord say he's going to do it, that means he's going to do it. And it's going to be up to me to believe. Oh, my God, I feel the Holy Man, I just believe. That, man, it's some, your, your faith, your faith, your faith, um, man, um, it's like your faith is grounded. When the wind's so blowing harder, I got to go deeper here now. It's trying to move me out of position. It's trying to make me go back to Egypt. I ain't going back. Uh -uh, I, I, I. You, you know, it's amazing. The Lord brought him out, and, and he sent him through the, uh, uh, the Red Sea. He, he, sent him, he sent him through the Red Sea, so now you can't get back. Because they wanted to go back. Um, let, let me let me, let me, let me show you. Hallelujah. So, you... you we're in a season here now where you can't fake the funk. I don't care how many scriptures you have. I don't, have, I don't care how many notes you have. I don't care how many things you highlight. We're going to find out now whether you believe all that stuff that you wrote. You wrote it down. Oh, that's a good point. Hallelujah. Sometimes I'm going to go to another point. Bishop, so else I can write this down. But, do, but are you walking? Are you, uh, are you, well, you started. You highlighted it. You use a different color. Uh, uh, high, but, but are you, are you going? Are you, oh, my God. <laughs> are you walking in it? Now, if somebody come and try to steal something from you, that's the time you have to rise up. See, your faith has to rise, you, you have to meet the occasion head on. I'll just give you just a little something. After, I'm, uh, um, 
after we had done the work and gone on that Monday, they told us, I think it was Monday, yeah, Monday, yesterday, uh, two days ago, etc. They said, uh, what we gonna do um, on Monday, they say, we, we, we got some herb, they got, they got a place, they got the trees and the leaves, and they gonna crush it and make uh, uh, certain things for healing, and y'all can go take that tour. You know, we got extra time, you can go ahead and take the tour. And, uh, you, and they said, we said, how long is it gonna take? They said, maybe an hour, uh, maybe two hours. First of all, it took us 45 minutes to get there. Mm -hmm. So 45 minutes there, 40 years, you know, amen. And then we got there, and uh, they said, no, you're going to be on this canopy uh, bridge, a canopy bridge hung up in the air, way up there in the air. And everyone you go to is going to get higher. And, and, and then you can go this way. There's three of them here if you want to take the, you know, or, or you can go with the one with seven. And man, we sort of come, we sort of walking, we walking, we climbing, we climbing, you know, rocks and debris, and uh, we climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing, and then we finally get up to the point, and then we see the first one. Now you know you now you already on climbing, got up there. Now what you gonna do now? And then you see the first one, man, that thing is narrow. You got netting around it, and it's way up in the air. And you're like, Lord, what are we going to do? You know what I mean? So the lady was talking, and so I began to shift. I began to shift, y'all. I began to shift. The lady was explaining, and you do this. And you would think, maybe they'll show you how to do it first. So one of them will go across it so you can get your courage up. And, man, they were just talking and doing whatever. But I kind of slipped over into a mode. I just said, I just jumped up there. The lady didn't even say go, do nothing. I just started going. Just went across and just kept, man, you, you have to take, you, you got to turn your faith on. Did you hear what I just said? You, you have to, you have to, you have to um, turn it on and you have to develop to a point where your faith becomes sure. Be oh my God, be be oh man, because even when you are trying, you, when you're praying for somebody, you can't be wondering if something's going to happen. <laughs> they, they believe you got something, oh Lord. You got to know you got something. We, we were there, um, and I, you know, I, I went to Kenya, and then we went to uh, Ghana uh, from there. So... We, get, we, get, we you know, we're flying, flying, flying. The first day we were there, put our bags down. Then they said, we need you to go. Oh, this is a, this is a blessing, man, and I want to give God the glory for it before I tell you. And um, they, they said, they, they, they need you to see this church, man. And they had sent a picture, and they, they were saying, them, you know, man said he's building the church, and he probably going to, you know, he's going to call it Mount Gilead. And, uh, and so we got there, and the man said, the man, y'all got to hear this. The man had a bottle of oil. He said, the last time you prayed over me and my wife, all kind of things began to happen for us. And uh, I need you to pray for me again. This man was serious. We're going to tour the building. He got the oil in his hand. He walking around with the oil in his hand. And I said, man, I'm going to be with you Sunday. I'm coming to your church on Sunday. I'll do it then. And he said, oh, okay. He said, man, I, I just need you to pray. He was telling us a little bit about the church. So we're on Church Street. That's the name of the street. We turn left. Guess what it said? Mount Gilead Road. That's what it said. Then, then we got, then we got to the church. And it seemed about six to eight hundred people. He said, I got a loan at the beginning, and now we don't own nothing. And in three months, you know, everything they did. He said, he, he said, I came to Mount Gilead. I asked him, I said, man, what, what, what's going on? You, uh, I heard you were, you were going to call. He said, yeah, the, the name of this church is Mount Gilead. He said, the Lord told me. And I'm calling, I'm, this, name, this is Mount Gilead. And then that thing came in my spirit. Is there, I got a question and I'm going to answer it. Is there a no bomb in Gilead? Now I'm going to answer it. Now I'm going to answer it. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord, there is a bomb <laughs> in Gilead. 
We begin to go upstairs. He said, that's my office. This is my wife's office. This is my office uh, temporarily. We got latrines being built down below. Uh, uh, and this is going to be the kitchen right here. We got a fellowship hall right here. Now the man came to Mount Gilead. He said, I got lost three times. He said, I'm walking around this building. And so that he came on the tour and he went back and turned his faith on. And God gave him the desires of his heart. Isn't that wonderful? So while we were there, they were, we praying. They wanted us to pray over the place. So then they found, we finally got the oil out of his hand. He was holding that oil. He said, you're going to pray for me. I said, well, I'm, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Man, it was a lady. It was this young lady. And uh, when they pour the concrete, they, gotta, they said they got to, before it cure in 10, 12 days, they got to keep it wet so it won't dry out too fast. I looked, I said, hold up, this ain't what I think it is. All these men was out there working and sweating. And then there was a lady up on the top roof. She pouring, throwing water on it, keeping it moist. And then the pastor said, yeah, she, she, she lost her job. She doesn't have any work right now. And, uh, but she said she want to volunteer here at the church. That she want to sow her time and she want to work for the church. So before I, right when we were getting ready to leave, the Lord, I, I'm, I'm, I'm walking, I'm late. The Lord said, bless her. So I went in, my, went in my, uh, uh, my pouch and pulled out a $100 bill, put it in her hand, she hit the ground. And then really prayed for her because she, our old blessing going to come on her. I'm telling you, oh my God. Um, and so while we were in there, uh, they said, now we're going to come back. We're going to, you know, dirt floor. We're going to put the concrete in later. We're going to set up the pulpit. And um, instead of having the pulpit on that end and the people way down there, they set it up just like this. Oh, Lord. And so he said, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna do the concrete and do all that later. Because I said, you know, pretty heavy, heavy lift. Uh, he said, I said, how much is it in U.S.? He said, 12500 And uh, so, you know, I, I talked to him. And then the Lord laid on my heart. And so we released it. So now, now listen, hold, hold up. Hold up now. We were touring the building. Let me get my days straight. We flew out on a Wednesday. We got there Thursday. And uh, we had church on, on, on that Sunday. They said next Sunday is Exodus Sunday. They were paying 40,000 US dollars to be in a place they were renting. And now they were going to be able to go into their own building. And so I started calculating. My mind started going. I said, now hold up. How long would it take to put that concrete floor in? And he said about, about a half a week. And uh, and so we started the wire transfer. That was Thursday. We started the wire transfer the next day. So we called the banks and through Daniel Robertson Ministries, the Covenant Partners, we released a check. And, now, and, and so on Sunday when they went in, they went in with a concrete floor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. The thing that amazed me is that that man, just like that one with the issue of blood, he took that anointing. He took it. He, he didn't just, oh, well, you know, these people just coming up in here. You know, sometimes you feel people looking at you, watching you, everything you do, how you sip your masala tea. Y'all don't know nothing about that if you ain't been to Kenya. See, you can't get masala tea in Ghana. Yeah, yeah, oh, Lord, God, man. Um, and, um, but but it, it's amazing. And did, you know what he told me? He said, I got pastors coming to me asking me to lay hands on them. You know why? Because he got evidence. See, when you get evidence, now people won't, they, they won't try to just bypass what you say. They, they know, they, they know, okay, let me, let me, let me hear. When E.F. Hutton told. <laughs> oh, yo, Lord. Mm -hmm. Y'all know the rest. You know the rest. When you have evidence, man, and so we, we see that thing, we see that thing, uh, that oil, you know, that oil flows from the top down. You respect what's over you. That thing will get off on you and that thing will start moving in you and everybody you touch. Oh, Lord. Mm. That anointing get it, man. Uh, okay, Lord, let me focus here. Let me. So, I think this has been a real time um, steadfast, right? Did, did we say that? Uh, unmovable. No, you're not moving me over my stance. Always abounding. <laughs> 
No, it's not, well, well, you know, you know what's going on right now? No, 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 always abounding. Always abounding. Always going for, oh, always looking for the next faith opportunity. Always see, Lord, what you, Lord, what you want to do now? <laughs> Lord, Lord, you keeping your faith, keep, keeping your faith um, uh, fresh. Uh, always having your faith in gear. We got to climb a hill, let's climb it. You know, when we want, we want that, you know, whatever you call that thing, when you're walking, I mean, you way up in the air, man. And you got this narrow thing. I got my bag around me. That thing try to go around here, then around the side, man. And then you keep going up. Then the next one, you go up higher. Then you see it. The thing is going up, and you got to walk it. And that thing moving, too. Then I got a pace. They said, don't run, but I was moving. I said, I'm gone. Shoo, shoo. I was just, just walk. You know what I mean? You just, you, you just, you know, hold on, let, let, let me get in here. I can go all over the place. Um, it, it's, man, it's just, um, um, you got to know when you got, you can't be, and I want to help all the ministers. They say they've been called by God. No, you got to know you got a word. I remember years ago, I sat in a class. This old man, gray hair, gray beard. I thought he was out his mind. For one hour straight, he asked the same question 25 times. Have you been called? Yeah. I remember the way he said it. Have you been called? I said, Lord. I said, what is wrong with this man? I'm sitting in here. He just keeps saying the same thing. I don't need, that's all I need to do if I'm taking notes today. That's all I can write down. That's all he's saying. But that man had something. He knew something. He's because, because when, when, when issues would come later and all kind of circumstances to try to back you down, you got to know you got the goods. You got to know I have been called. God called that man. No, no, no man called me. God called me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Okay, Lord. Okay, go to James chapter 1. James chapter 1. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Man, we got we to gotta get to a place. We got to, man, our faith. Yeah, yeah. Um, you want to get to a place where your faith becomes sure. And uh, you got to get to a place when something is trying to come contrary or something is trying to come against where you're trying to go. Somebody, something going to have to give. Because it seemed like to me you were in my way. And I'm not going on another road. So we're about to have a confrontation right now. Hallelujah. Something going to have to give. Because you're in my way. This is the route I'm going. And, uh, and that's what your faith would do. You, 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 got to, you got to know it. You, we got that gator. That gator, not that, the thing like the thing in low gear all the time. It's made to pull, to push, to climb, to be in rugged conditions. Mud what? Man. You got to climb a hill, man. Man, I'm going in a low gear here. Just like in football, I got to get low. Goal line stands, ladies. Y'all know what goal line stands here. They only need one yard. You know, they, if they're trying to get a first down or a goal line, they're trying to score, it's fourth and one. If we stop them this play, we're going to get the ball back to our offense. Ladies, come on, ladies. Y'all understand? Uh-huh. First down, second down, third down. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. See, on fourth down, you can punt. We, but then some people say, we're going for it. <laughs> you know, the crowd, they're like, go for it, go for it. They're just going crazy. And then when the coach, when he sent it in, he got that headset on, he sent it in, he sent the player, and uh, when the offense stay on the field, everybody get, they, they, they get hot. Oh, my God, man. In other words, they like, have some guts, man. Let's, let's take a doggone chance. Oh, man. If, if we don't make it, oh, well, but what if we do? <laughs> You know what I mean? You know, it's amazing. It's like four from one. Let's play conservative. I don't know about playing conservative. I don't know. That ain't in me. Let, let's be conservative. Let's protect the ball. Let's get, let's, 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 let's try to just get field position and we'll see how, no, I'm, I'm going to win. I'm trying to win. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, you know, you know, you know what's uh, maybe tragic is when an opportunity come by and you don't even know it. 
because your faith didn't see it as an opportunity. Your faith saw it as something beyond where you can go. But when your faith recognizes it, we can do this. We can do this. Um, it's certain things that God won't necessarily tell you to do. He'll just present it to you. And if your faith is ready, your faith will say, I'm not going to let this opportunity pass me by. Uh -huh. we, <laughs> we're going to latch hold of this thing and we're going to go forward and God going to get the glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, now in James chapter 1, y'all in James chapter 1, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting, my brethren, O oh Lord, count it all joy when you fall into divers, different types of, temp of temptations. Watch it now. Knowing this, <laughs> That the trying, you, you, you have somebody where your child working on your nerves, you try them, don't try me. Come on, y'all know what I'm talking about. And then even some adults on your job, you said, you know, come on now. You know what I mean? You don't try me. You know, you know, you know, and some of y'all ain't been saved that long. You know what I mean? And, and you, you know, you kind of try to, you kind of, you try to forewarn them. You, 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 I'm, I'm, that's your warning. You don't want to try me. In other words, you about to wake something. <laughs> I got a, I got a, I got a sleeping giant called faith on the inside, and you about to wake it up. You got to get to a place where instead of stuff intimidating you, you become the intimidator. <laughs> Hallelujah. So it says, my brother, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith work in patience. They're trying. The trying of your faith work in patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. I'll read it again, Lord. My brother, encounter all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, all different types of, you know, have you ever had times you're trying to go forward, trying to get it together? Now that got that going on, that's trying to nip at your heel. You got that other situation over here going on. It's just like you got all of these things trying to mess with you. But then you're like, okay, so now, see, I was going to be nice. <laughs> but now you, now, you, now, now you mess with me. See, see, the devil, he's stupid in a way because he'll keep messing with you, messing with you until you go into the spirit side of yourself. Start, and, 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 and he'll force you to start pulling out weapons that are not natural. <laughs> For the, you know, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Uh -huh. But mighty, they, oh my God, but they are mighty through God, mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So he'll force you to go into an, a, a place. And you know when people would do that? They keep picking on you and, and lying on you and saying stuff about you. Man, my God. You know what? God allows some of that. God said, okay. He let them run their mouth. It's certain things God could have blocked, listen to me, but he let it happen. Because what it did... It, it got on the inside and began to rub shoulders with your faith. What was trying to irritate you woke up something. It woke up another dimension in you that's only reserved for difficult times. I received your seat. It, it, see, see, God allowed it. Let it come. Let it come. Let it come. But when it did, it began to wait. You know what? God began. You know what God did? God said, I'm going to show you how strong you really are. You asking me to do it, but you don't know. You packing something. You're packing something that's not usual. It's not normal. It is powerful. Oh, God. Let me share something with you. I, I, when I first came to Mount Gilead, the Lord told me, I want you to, I want you to let them know to put your name down, the pulpit committee, um, put your name down. And the Lord said to me, he said, look behind the church. I looked behind it. 
That's all he said to me. Look behind the church. I look behind it. And, and this is what he said. Every place that the soles of your feet trod, I've given it to you. We were a receiver. It was scary, man. We were in Kenya. We went to another place. We walked the ground. I even sent Brother Sean, sent Brother Andre Wright Sr. Uh, on my behalf. They went there asking questions, and we were, you know, we're, we, go, we said, well, we're going to help the man build a church. We got back there. Guess what we saw? Three buildings. The church, a guest house, and another home for girls. 85,000 U.S. dollars. It gets scary. I got back to my room. I, I, I'm almost trembling. I'm like, my God. And these people know. They come. You, I need you to pray. Bishop, I want you to pray. I want you. I need you to pray. I need you. Yeah, they, they, they believe we got something. And it's amazing because God told me. He said, every place the soles of your feet trod. You know, I'm thinking here. But blessed in the city. Oh, God. Bless in the field, the head, not the tail. These people are serious. They take the anointing. They don't take it for granted. They said, no, I need you to pray over me. And they pour that anointing out of you. And they walk in it. They walk in it. My goodness. I receive. All right. Um, where was Okay, James 1. James 1. Um, Verse 4, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect, that she may be perfect, that she may be perfect, and entire one and nothing. Let me go to the message. Message. I like the message here. I like the message translation here. Message, 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 message. The message translation. Verse number two, consider it a sheer gift, friends, when tests and challenges come at you from all sides. You know that under pressure, <laughs> your, faith, your faith life is forced into the open and shows its true colors. Mm. You know that under pressure, your, you know, you, you squeeze a tube or toothpaste, you're going to get what you, you, you're forcing what, whatever is in there to come out. Come on, y'all. Come on, Lord. You, uh, when you press it, you go, whatever is in there going to come out. And that's where the enemy is so stupid. He'll go mess with somebody loaded. And then when pressure come, all it's going to do is it's going gonna, it's gonna to squeeze out the contents that lie within. Let me tell you a secret. There are dimensions. I was over there walking over there on that step over there. Let me just go back over here. Let me give you this complete thought. There are certain dimensions in you that don't come out until necessary. There's <laughs> some things in you that are so powerful, it'll scare you. Oh, Lord, y'all laugh. <laughs> you had to go back and say, who was that that was out there? I, who in the world, who, who, who was that? It seemed like something else came up on you. Um, uh, but, but there's certain dimensions in you that is only under extreme pressure will it come out. Only under extreme um, uh, uh, things that are coming against you that turn you, you say, I try to be nice. I try. Y'all, y'all know, y'all, some of y'all know I try, you know, but, but man, when you got stuff coming at you, now it'll, it'll, it'll turn you into, it, my God, it'll, it'll, it'll turn you into, um, uh, another man, another woman, depending on, uh, who you are. Are you following me? All right. Now I, let, let me, let me read this. Let's see. I'm in the message translation, right? Mm-hmm. Now, you know, I, I got to kind of focus. I got to focus hard, you know, on the plane and flying. And, you know, I just got back this morning. And I'm here. <laughs> Amen. You, you'll figure that out on the way home. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me see here. Let me see here. Where am I at? Where am I at? Okay, right here, right here, right here. All right. So, in the... Um, 
Consider it a sheer gift, friends, when tests and challenges come at you on all sides. You know that under pressure, your faith life is forced into the open and shows its true colors. So don't try to get out of anything prematurely. Let it do its work so you become mature and well-developed, not deficient in any way. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's why the Lord will allow certain things to linger. Um, it's almost like you're asking God, God, move it. God said, when you going to move it? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Lord, how do I say this, Lord? How do I say it? How do I say it? Some things are not moved. You just become greater than what it was. It never left. <laughs> you just become greater than what it was. And so what, what used to intimidate you, you'll begin to walk on it. <laughs> you, are you following what I'm saying? You, you just, you know, like, it's like, for example, it may be a certain figure somebody tell you it costs this. And, and you, in the past, you used to, would get nervous and be like, ah, oh, what, what, what is that I received? You would be like, well, I, 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 and now they give you the figure, you say, uh-huh, and? You know, because people try to give you a figure and see if you're going to flinch. They try to tell you, and then you just stand there and say, uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-hmm, and, 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 uh-huh. They're going to see if you're going to draw. Oh, my God. I, 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 I. You know, because we were going to build a pool. They said, y'all going to get a loan? I said, uh-uh. Kofi said, no, we're going to pay cash. So then they, they didn't talk to me. They got her over to the side. See, y'all y'all don't know how people do. No, but we don't want him to know what we're doing exactly right now. So let me, let me try to read her. Then they're going to compare notes when they're going out the driveway. And then so they're going to go to her. Well, you know, it's going to be about 230000 you know. And, of course, all the other stuff we did brought it up to three hundred. But, um... It, you know, it, it's, uh, and, then, and then they just say that and then, then watch you. They, 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 they watch you. They're not just looking at or listening to what you say. They're watching your body language. They are seeing if life kind of gets sucked out of you. But she never flinched. She's like, okay. And kept walking. They're like, hold up. They, they, who, who, how, what? But anyway, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It's, 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 um, Man, I tell you, your faith, when, when um, count it all joy, you got to know what's going on. You, 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 you're, being, you're being developed for greater. Oh, Lord, that, that's good. That's good right there. That's good. That's good. Oh, my God. You're being developed for greater. That's all, that's all that's going on. Don't be a crybaby. Don't go around somewhere, oh, my God, why the devil mess with me? No, I'm just being developed for greater. That's all. I'm just, I receive. I'm just being developed for greater. That's all that's going on. I'm just being developed for greater. That's all. Stand on your feet. Father, we give you glory and praise and honor, and we magnify your holy name. Father, there's none like you in all the earth. God, you're so awesome. And Father, in this place, we, we just say be glorified. We, we lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up. Now, Father, we, we preach your word. We got, we got um, mainly believers in this house on a midweek service. But if, if just in case somebody slipped in here tonight, if you don't know Jesus, if you've never received Jesus into your heart as your Lord and your personal Savior, you can do that right now. We, we, I offer you Jesus. He is the Christ. He is the Son of the living God. And if I strayed away from the Lord, oh my God, you can come back tonight. In it, I don't care what type of of uh, in a bondage, in it, you, if you need to be set free, if you need to be delivered, I don't care what it is, Jesus is able. Somebody may need a church home. There may be somebody even watching tonight and they live in another area. They can't even get here, but they're like, man, I need a church home. I, I want to be connected. I want to be connected. I want to be connected to something that doesn't just speak it, but live it. Live it. I need an example. I need to see strength. Don't tell me about how strong God is. Show me how strong he is. Any one of those invitations. You can come tonight. Salvation, rededication. Anybody need to be filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost? With the evidence of speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God give you the utterance? You can come. Somebody may need a church home. 
Thank you, Lord God. And I want you to know, even people who are not in, even in the area that want to be a part of the ministry, you know, we have e-membership. Well, we have people in other areas. You can still connect and be a part of this ministry. You can call me your pastor. Hallelujah. And I'm going to put you right over the fish. I'm going to make sure you get the goods, but you're going to have to take this anointing. You need to take it. You need to take the anointing. But now, let me talk, Let me say this. You can't sneak and get it. You're going to have to connect properly to receive this anointing. Hallelujah. You can listen all you want, but you got to be connected. 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 My God, let me say this. Oh, God. There's certain places that you're trying to go that you haven't been. But this anointing that God has placed on my life Yes, it's proven. Where you trying to go, I've already been. What tries to intimidate you now, I intimidate. So when you take that anointing, you will start backing things up. It can't hold you. It know it can't hold you. It's already been defeated. But you got to humble yourself to come under that anointing. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Lord, we just bless your name tonight. You're good. Yeah, yes, you are, God. And we give you glory for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Well, y'all, y'all can, y'all know what to do. Hallelujah. Well, we're ready to bless God now with our tithes and our offerings. Amen. Glory to God. The different ways to give are on the screen. Let me see the, my, the Ghana team, whoever's here. If y'all stand, let me just see. You see one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I made six. I'm missing somebody else. Uh huh. We got somebody else in the back. Okay. Who, who is that? Okay. Norman Ray, okay, praise God. So he's, so he's here as well. Now, we've been flying, man. We just came from overseas and we're here. Ain't that something? Ain't that a blessing? Isn't that a good blessing? Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Now, you know, I prayed about it. I said, now, Lord, now, we just come from overseas. I could put somebody else up. You know, I can go rest. But I said, I think it would be good for me just come myself. You know, people like, y'all, y'all, y'all ain't gonna that. You know, some people like, are they going to make it back? Is he, is, is he going to, I hope he make it, but Jesus, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, so you can come, so they pay, did you, then they're going to be, to Texas, he up, he up, he came to church, he preaching tonight. Then you're going to see all kind of views later, you know, they're going to be like, Lord, I'm going to see what he said. <laughs> Hallelujah. God good. God is good. God is good. You know what I mean? You're flying through different time zones and stuff, man. You just got to kind of just, you know, push through it a little bit. I'll rest tomorrow. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. God is good. Man, we had to get this, this PCR test. Man, they test, uh, test you before you left. Then we got to Kenya. And, uh, and, then, and then we had to leave Kenya to go to, to Ghana. Then they test you in Kenya before you go to Ghana. Then we get to Ghana. Then they said, I need to swab you. Then they swab us. Then you go downstairs and go through custom, go through all this stuff, jump through multiple hoops, and then they give you a report. And you know, you're praying the whole time. That, that you better be negative. You know what I mean? And then, and then, and then, then before we left Ghana, coming back to the U.S., we got to get tested again. So everybody negative, 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 negative. Oh, I can sing a little bit too. I don't, oh, yo, man. But you know the song, Been In My Spirit, oh man, that thing, in my, uh, what's that song? Um, oh man, what is that song? I kept singing it and singing it. Uh, Rain, Jesus, Rain. King of Zion. Oh God, Judah's Lion. I love it, man. Rain, Jesus, Rain. 
I kept singing it, man. I had it on, on my phone. I said, my God, there's something on this song, man. You, cause you're telling God. You're telling the rain, man. Rain. Rain. Uh, and man, it just the way it did. Uh, then they called it, uh, um, man. It's, it's, just a, it's just powerful. It's just powerful, man. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Let's lift our seeds. Repeat after me. I'm a tither. I'm a seed sower. I'm sowing. I'm sowing on purpose. I'll never be broke another day in my life. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> this seed is powerful and it shall produce my harvest. I receive it now. I receive my harvest now because I am sowing my seed in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. On the inside of you, say, walk among giants, walk among giants, walk among giants. What is called you to do? And wake, wake up the giants, wake up the giants, wake up the giants. On the inside of you, and walk among giants, walk among giants, walk among giants. What is called you to do? Say, wake up the giants. Wake up the giants, wake up the giants, on the inside of you, say, walk among giants, walk among giants, walk among giants, it's what is called you, wake up the giants, 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 on the inside of you, and walk among giants, 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 what it called Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, I, we, we've dealt with everything. Look, what, what time is it? 12 minutes after 8? Amen. Amen. Well, Father, we love you and we thank you. <laughs> I heard the Lord saying, let my people go. <laughs> so we thank you tonight, God, that we were able to do everything we need to do. And we don't have to be in here all night long. We love you now, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Mount Gilead family, take advantage of the Gourmet Restaurant within our own ministry, the Gourmet Grill. You can pre-order meals online for easy pickup on service days. Simply visit the Gourmet Grill website and click order online. You can also get a sneak peek at the midweek dinner menu by signing up for our Gourmet Grill text alert group. Just text Gourmet Grill, one word, to join. And what are you learning from our Changing Lives podcast? Let us know. We want to hear from you. So leave a comment or review. Season two is available now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. Just search the Alina Robertson Network.